Good morning, boys and germs. Good night to those that are watching in Ireland. Um, yeah, conversation that was had last night here at the gym. And you know, if, you, if you're watching this, who I had the conversation with, thanks for uh, the topic today. Uh, there is another topic that's going to come tomorrow um, about dealing with muscle soreness. And sorry, Dave, that we're not getting to that one today, but there's a list. There's a list of topics to get through. And we'll get through them one by one. But this morning, this is what I'm dealing with. All right. So uh, the topic of conversation was, oh, I've gained a few kilos. Um, I probably need to get back to running or do a little bit more running. Um, again, because this time last year, I, I was running so much at X amount of time. And, oh, Demo, what do you think of skipping a meal in the morning or basically intermittent fasting? So my response was, you don't need to know, you don't need to do more running. You need to consume less. And that was followed by a laugh and oh, yeah, there's probably a bit too much consumption going on. And this boils back to what I've said a lot of times, fucking fly. What I've said a lot, that's a fucking jumbo jet of a fucking fly as well. Um, that comes back to what I've said a lot of times before. It's, it's not about doing more work. It's about understanding what's going in the cake hole and limiting it from time to time. Or just understanding what you are consuming and don't fucking be a pig constantly. All right, so there are several ways of looking at this. Like people like to torch themselves and you know, do extra training. And you know, you do get great results from uh, Ruth, how are things? Uh, people do get great results from running. Um, uh, because they run for long periods of time. Like you think about training for a marathon um, and stuff like that, where you know people throughout at the course of a, re a week are running uh, up to 100 kilometers, maybe slightly more. Now, they're not always running full marathons every time they're training, but they might do 5Ks, 10Ks, 20Ks. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time out on the track and out on the road. Uh, which, if you are running, um, you understand that when you're running, it's hard to, first of all, eat a lot of food before you run. And normally, after a, a, a quite a hectic training session like that, it's hard to eat a lot afterwards. So a lot of these runners that are super lean, they don't eat a lot of food either. They're, you know, they're in a constant calorie deficit. Um, now, if you're one of these people that trains quite often at a gym and you feel that you know maybe you need to lose a kilo or two or you're, you're gaining weight in the gym understand first of all that when you are lifting weights in a gym you're developing strength and that strength requires calories um, in order to get stronger and recover and build and all that sort of stuff now, there's also the possibility of overconsuming calories and gaining body fat, but understand what it is your goal is first. Well, like, where, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get strong? Always, uh, I will come back to this, fucking take progression photos. Stop getting sucked in by the fucking numbers on the scales. Because ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the strength game and you are trying to develop strength, understand this that you will gain weight, but your body will change its dimensions. It will change its composition. You will build muscle in places and you will slim down in others because your body requires you to store carbohydrates in the form of glycogen in muscle fibers. As you build strength over a long period of time, and I'm talking about fucking years, you will build muscle. This also requires you to get heavier on the scales. So if you want a true understanding of what your body is doing, no matter what it is, if you, even if you are a runner, I would 100% advise you to 
take progression photos. That is the only way to um, understand exactly what is going on in the body and to get a proper view because you live in your skin. You are the person that is growing and shrinking in your skin. Because you're in it, you don't notice it. When you train a barbell and you lift a barbell, you record what you're moving on that barbell on a daily, weekly basis. And you can see the progressions. You can see the trends. Taking progress photos is you recording the trends that are happening, in, happening to your body. So start taking, start taking photos. And understand that if you feel you want to change your body composition, the simple act of starting to understand what you're consuming will be a huge factor in it. Think about the amount of hours in a day. There's 24. We spend six to eight of those asleep. You work for maybe another six to eight, maybe 10, maybe even 14 of those hours a day. Um, you're up, you're running around, you're after kids. Um, how many hours of those days or how many, much time throughout that day do you spend consuming food? Then think about the amount of time you actually spend in the gym or doing your preferred hobby. Maybe an hour to two hours a day if you're lucky that, and, and that other things don't take over. So what do you actually have more control of? Is it about getting into the gym more? Is it about getting out running more? Or is it about taking control of the things that you have in control of more often? Which would be the consumption of either one, enough calories, or limiting the consumption of too many fucking calories. Maybe focusing on trying to get uh, a good quality sleep. Maybe focusing on not um, adding shit into your life that's creating more stress. Maybe controlling the stress, maybe, maybe dealing with the, the anxiety that's going on in your body. G the gym is good for anxiety, it's good for coming in and de-stressing and stuff like that. That's really what the gym is about. Making strength gains and dealing with anxiety. But if you're feeling that you need to do more exercise in order to change your body composition, you're, look, you're barking up the wrong tree. It's as simple as that. You gotta look at your food. People always give out, oh, but I don't want to fucking, that was, this was kind of the end of the conversation. I said, oh, but you know, I'm on my phone. I don't want to be tracking and blah, blah. Man, look at, I'm talking to you on my fucking phone right now. You're looking at me on my phone right now. I don't know how many minutes I've been talking for, but I'm talking for about maybe seven, eight minutes. These daily cracks normally go for the approximately 10 minutes. If you can spend the length of time watching me shy talk for 10 minutes, you can spend that time tracking your calories. It's not that hard. People get bogged down and, oh, this is tricky. Mate, you've learned how to make videos on TikTok. You've learned how to make reels on fucking Instagram. You've learned how to post this shit. You, 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 we are pretty good at figuring shit out. If you want to go old school, fucking weigh what you're eating and write down the way. Weigh what you're eating, write it down, and then fucking Google how many calories in 200 grams of steak. Start to figure out the calorie content of what you're consuming. If you are stuck with this shit, this is what I help people with in my eight week programs. I bring understanding to what you're doing. We create good habits about, about what you're already doing because what you're doing right now isn't bad, just needs to be tweaked. We just need to adjust the dials ever so slightly and get you super comfortable with what you're already doing. No food needs to be eliminated. If you've walked and watched Sea Spiracy or whatever the fuck, you don't need to stop eating fish, you don't need to stop eating burgers, you don't need to stop having a pint at the weekend. All this stuff can still be there. It doesn't need to be eliminated. It just, you just need to understand what is your calorie target for your specific goal so you can either burn fat or build fucking muscle. We track everything else. Why don't you track this? All right? It's not about more exercise. It's about knowing what goes in the fucking cake hole. Same shit I keep talking about. Giddy up!